What are my Christmas Eve traditions? So my son and I take a trip every year. We always play this game called Ute. Nosotros celebramos las posadas. We go to concerts and bazaars, and we end it with a huge parade. We play our family traditional games, Gavita and Ghana. Que es cuando vamos en puerta en puerta cantando canciones y al final tenemos una fiesta grande. We always had yummy food and we also watched lots of Christmas shows and movies. What do we eat? Oh gosh, what don't we eat? Kimchi. Endera. Shepherd's pie. Labane. Los tamales. Cut for. Cinnamon rolls. We've got pulvogi. Fajarisa. We're having coffee all day. Yorkshire pudding. And fudge. Los buñuelos. It's all so good. When do we open presents? Always Christmas morning. Always after hot chocolate. We really don't exchange presents. Christmas Eve. Siempre después el desayuno. We exchange one gift at midnight. Always in the morning. We usually go for a present that big. Yeah. Or this big. Why do I celebrate Christmas? For Jesus. Jesus. It's all for Jesus. Jesus. For my Jesus. Because it's Jesus' birthday. Yeah. Amen. Good morning, Harvest Ministries. Welcome to Harvest Ministries and those of you joining us online this morning. And we all believe that Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. And uh, you'll see that displayed around our church as you come in the foyer and here in the corner. You'll see his name everywhere. And so we're excited that you're here this morning. Today you're here for our Christmas program. And there are a lot of empty seats here because in just a little bit they're going to be filled up with all of your children and grandchildren and it's like herding cattle to get them over here this morning. So they're all locked away in a secret compartment somewhere, uh, being held until the right moment. And uh, I was chasing my grandson around earlier, trying, I don't know where his shoes are at. He doesn't have any shoes this morning, so I don't know where his shoes are. But that's okay. He'll be fine in the program. But we are so glad you're here. Uh, if you are a first-time guest, hopefully you got a little card when you came in. And if you could fill that card out for us and drop it in the box on the way out today, we would appreciate that. We won't call you tomorrow. We won't stop by your house. It just lets us know who's here for the very first time. And so we would appreciate you doing that as well. And if you're new to us or if you're a regular tender there, just want to make some announcements to let you know some things that are happening. If you don't have a church home and you're looking for a church home, maybe you could consider this to be your church home or at least try us out. And there are some upcoming activities you would maybe like to be a part of. So we want to mention those to you this morning. Every Sunday at 9 o'clock, we have an adult Bible study in the lower level, uh, led by Ken Diver. So you're welcome to come to that on Sunday mornings if you would like to, to be a part of that Bible study. Uh, while you're here today, if you need nursery facilities, if you have little ones zero to two years old, uh, out these doors to my left and to your right, right down that hallway, uh, our nursery is there, staffed with great workers who love on your babies and take care of them for you while you're here this morning in the uh, program. Uh, so if you need that facility, please take advantage of it today. Also, many of you who are here, regular tenders, uh, took an angel from our angel tree for the Heritage Home Orphanage in Indonesia. If you took one of those angels and have not submitted your money for that, the $25, please do so today. We want to get those funds over uh, to them as quickly as we can, and thank you for helping us with that. Uh, if you'd like to go with our ladies to their Christmas party, it's going to be at the Olive Garden on this Tuesday at 6 o'clock. There's a sign-up sheet at the back and on the table. You can just sign up for that. Uh, come, you buy what you want to eat yourself. Uh, they are exchanging gifts. I think $15 is the limit. So if you'd like to be a part of that, please sign up so they can uh, know how many to prepare for. If you have children or if you are responsible for grandchildren or raising grandchildren or children, this coming Friday from 5.30 to 7.30, 
Uh, you can drop your child off or your children off, uh, and Pastor Almer, our youth pastor, and Pastor Ron, and Pastor Robin, our kid, uh, youth pastor, will be here to take care of them for a couple hours for you. Now, here's the catch. You do have to come back and get your kids, okay? You, we, you can't leave them here, but you got to come back at 7.30 and pick them up. But for a couple of hours, if you want to go out on a date, you want to go out and buy Christmas presents, whatever you have to do, uh, here's your time to do that. You do need to sign up for this at the back table, uh, so please take advantage of it. They'll have a good time. They're going to feed them. They're going to have a lot of good games and fun going on, so you'll be able to uh, relax while they're having a good time here. We also sponsor a food pantry out of our church, and if you would like to uh, donate any items to that, you can certainly do that. You see those on the screen and in your handout this morning. Or if you'd like to make a donation for the food pantry, uh, we try to bless the Botetourt community uh, every third Saturday, I believe it is, uh, and they're open. And so if you'd like to be a part of that, we certainly invite you to come and uh, help with that or make a donation if you'd like to. Next Sunday, if you don't have a normal church home you go to, we're having our Christmas choir next Sunday morning, so they'll be singing. And so you're welcome to come to be a part of that as well. Uh, men, if you'd like to go out for our men's Christmas dinner, we're going to Golden Corral on Monday, December the 19th. Uh, again, a sign-up sheet at the back table, the room's reserved, everything's ready to go. We just need to get a head count for that. So if you'd like to be a part of our men's Christmas dinner, uh, please sign up for that as well. Also, for our kids and teens, we are doing a couple of events uh, we're calling it winter break, and so we know that school will be ending after next week, most likely for most of the kids and teenagers. So if you need a break or want to get them somewhere, uh, Wednesday, December 21st from 10 until 12, uh, they're having breakfast with Santa and the Grinch, so you can sign up for that at the back table as well. And then there's another one for New Year's on Wednesday, December 28th from 10 until 12. That's a pizza party. And so if you want to have your kids for those two events, please sign up at the back table, and we'll take care of that for you as well. And if you're looking for somewhere to be on Christmas Day or New Year's uh, Day uh, morning, uh, we are having services both of those days, Christmas morning and New Year's morning at 11 o'clock. Uh, no other activities those days, but if you uh, want to be in church somewhere in those two days, we encourage you or invite you to come and be a part of that uh, service or those services with us as well. Well, it is an exciting day around here. I'm going to ask the worship team to come on and, and take their position on this platform. And we are glad you're here today. You'll see me in just a little bit after the worship team is done and we get ready for the program. But we are so excited that you're here. We want you to worship today. We want you to praise the Lord however you feel comfortable this morning. Uh, some of us are used to clapping or raising our hands. You certainly can do that if you'd like to do that. We don't have to. But however you want to express your appreciation for what Jesus means to you and what this season means, we want you to feel free to do that this morning. So at this time, I'm going to ask you to stand with us if you would. And we want to go to the Lord in prayer, and then we're going to go right into our praise and our worship time. Father, we love you today, and we thank you for this day that we can be together in your house. Lord, there are folks here who are a regular part of Harvest Ministries, and some are here maybe for the very first time. It doesn't matter where we came from or which church we are normally a part of. Today, we're here for one reason, and that is to worship you, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We truly believe that you are the reason for the season. So, Lord, bless our worship today and bless our praise. Bless everything that's going to be done this morning in this house, that you will be glorified, that you will be praised. Lord, I pray now for our children. I pray for our teens. I pray for our adults. All of those who will be involved in our Christmas program today, just give them... Uh, Lord, a special touch and calm their nerves and calm any fears they may have and help us to focus on you, the reason for the season we pray in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. It's a great day to be a house of the Lord. Amen. Hope you're ready to worship. It's a joyous time. Amen. God, joy in the struggle. God, peace in the storm.
You may be seated this morning. The world rejoiced when Jesus came, the world of darkness, and he came and brought his marvelous light into this world. And we are so a rejoicing and so happy for that today that Jesus came to be the light of the world for us. We again are so thankful that you're here this morning and uh, to be a part of this live production. Today's program is entitled the Carol Medley Christmas Special, and you're going to be immersed in a live television program this morning, and you're going to be the audience in the program, and so you're going to get to participate today. Now, let me ask a question. How many Virginia Tech fans are in the house? Can you make some noise for your team this morning? Okay. How many UVA fans in the house? How many West Virginia fans? How many Jesus fans? How many Jesus fans? All right. So with all that enthusiasm for your college team or your professional team, we want you to use that today as part of our live studio audience, okay? You'll see to my right and to my left two young men who have applause signs. So let's practice our applause. We're on the count of three, hold your signs up, okay? One, two, three. Now let's practice. All right, all right. You've got it. So our kids are involved, our adults are involved. We've got special music and singing today for you, all part of the Carol Medley Christmas special. And so without further ado, I'm going to exit the stage, and I believe the stage hand is going to take over. God bless you. I'll see you after the program. All right, all right, all right. Everybody ready for the show tonight? All right, yep. I know there's a little light in here, so we need to make sure we get the lights up full on stage. Um, we need everybody to get ready. Where's my boom? I need the boom. Where's the boom? Oh, my gosh. Took you long enough. We need it over the audience, okay? We got to get everybody in here. All right, we got 20 seconds to airtime. Hey, come on, liven up. This isn't pizza delivery. You're not working for Domino's. Stand up. Get your sign ready. Thank you. God bless America. What's going on? Fix your hair. You look like one of the animals, okay? <laughs> Man, hard to find good help around here. All right, everybody, quiet, quiet. Band, let's get it going. All right, we're going live in five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, live from our studios in Burbank, California, from the creators of the Carol Medley Show, it's Carol Medley. Thank 
you, thank you, and welcome to our show. Wow, what a great crowd today. And you look great. You're all dressed up in your Christmas outfits. Beautiful. This is a great time, and we just are so happy for you to be here. But before, we have such a show for you today. But first, right now, uh, what do you think of these guys over here? They are my crew. They're my stable crew. They're my stable crew. And everybody knows you've got to have a stable crew to keep the animals in line. Wow. Speaking of the animals, well, you know, we, we're going to have uh, Shepherd's Flock is going to be with us. We're going to thank them for being a part of our show today, and they're going to be performing for us later. So uh, speaking of uh, stable, when we're talking about stable, these folks right here are banned. They've brought a whole new meaning. They brought a whole new meaning to the word stable because there is nothing stable about them. <laughs> and over here is sort of the key to my success. This is, he's sort of like my manger man, the guy on the keyboard. This is Don Key. Give it up for Don Key. The manger man. That's right. He's the manger man. So he's sort of my main guy there. As you can tell, today's show is going to be very special. It's Christmas. Now, Christmas is a time when you invite people into your home, your family, your friends, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah right? So, well, today I've invited some of my favorite friends, special, special friends, to come into our studio home with us today. So sit right there and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hey folks, we got a short segment here. We're on TV commercial break. They're showing ESPN and all the Hallmark commercials. Everybody's ready for it. But you're here live for the Carol Show, right? And I need you guys to get a little tuned up. You need to be a little bit, ma'am, I need you a little bit. You're, you're wearing red Christmas. I need you to be a little bit happier, okay? Say Merry Christmas or something. They get their angel wings, whatever it is. We need that magical dust this morning. Okay, now, next time we go live, we need everybody to be a little bit more excited, a little bit more happier. Can we try that? All right, she introduced a guest. What do we do? All right, yeah, you guys are getting a little bit more excited. Sir, you need more caffeine. Our concession stands outside. Get you a little bit more of that hot says cocoa, whatever you need. But everybody, right, you've come a long way. You've been wanting to be here. We want to get you involved. And listen, how many of you have an extra seat beside you? Raise your hand. Come on. Yep, yeah, ma'am. You're holding your hand barely up back there. Come on. You do not save seats back there for anybody, okay? We don't save seats. I need everybody to move in. If you got an extra seat, raise your hand up high just so we can see you. Because we got extra people. Now, you guys are not participating. <laughs> Security! I need an usher. Anyways, okay. Well, I think we got about four or five seats. Hey, pretty lady. I'm dating her, by the way. That is one beautiful mistletoe angel over there. We got about four or five extra seats, babe. See you later. Look, you don't understand. I'm all the, I came from all the way from Nebraska, and I have to see the show today. I leave tomorrow. I am so sorry. The last two seats have been filled. I'm sorry, we don't have any more room. Please, I'm desperate. I'll sit anywhere. Well, we do have some room over there with the animals. I mean, it's not much, but you're welcome to it. I'll take it. Thank you so much. There's no room. I guess I know how Mary must have felt on that very first Christmas. This will definitely be a Christmas I'll never forget. Oh, 
All right, people, people, let's get ready. Let's get live. We're going live in 15 seconds. Hey, come on, donkey, donkey. You guys got to act a little bit happier. Come on now. Come on. Sir. Five, four, three, two, one. We are back. My first guest today is a relatively new face to many of you, but she's definitely a rising star with a very bright future. Would you help me welcome Miss Susan Wiseman? Yay! Welcome to the show. Have a seat. Thank you. So how are you doing? I am fine, just fine. This is my favorite time of the year. Oh, mine too. Christmas is just so fun. Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too, Carol. Yeah, well, to many of these folks, you're sort of a new item. Yeah, I guess that's right. But actually, you've been around for a pretty long time with this. Yes, I really have, Carol. Ever since I was a little girl, this has been a dream of mine. And tonight is just going to be so special. Awesome. Well, you're not out from here originally in this area. No, I'm actually, uh, I grew up back east. Wow. So how did a girl from back east get all the way out here? Well, it's been a long way around, but, you know, I, I just thought if I wanted to fulfill my dreams, I had to follow that star, so to speak. Wherever that star was going, I was going, and here I am. Wow. And you've just signed a new label, isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. Awesome. And you've got a new release coming out. I remember reading something about that and it'll be coming out the first of the year yeah it's it's definitely made this christmas extra special for me awesome well how about singing one of your famous uh, favorite christmas songs from that sure today? i would love to awesome. ladies and gentlemen susan wiseman
Don't leave your seat because coming up next is Guardian Angel. All right, that's good, people. We're going to have a short break again. You know all those commercials we got to get in with the Energizer Bunny this round around the year and everything else is going on, getting sold, turkeys and all that. I'm so tired of these commercials, but we have to do that, pay the bills. We got to keep the lights on, right? So we got to turn this around. Carol, you are beautiful as always, doing a great job. Perfect, perfect. And I want to tell you right now, girl, you sang that song. Thank you for being a guest. Did she do a good job? Come on, come on. Great job, great job, great job. Okay, we're getting ready to go live in about five, five seconds. Let's go get the band going. Five, four, three, two, one, back to Carol. Well, I know many of you have traveled a long way today just to hear our next guest, and we're honored to have them as our stage band for today's Christmas special show. And so from the Christmas album, like you've never heard, singing Peaceful, Joyful Season, here's Guardian Angel.
set his love down in the form of a baby in the form of a baby in the form of a baby in a little town Guardian Angel. Awesome. You guys did awesome. I don't think I've ever heard a Christmas album quite like that before. But what made you decide to record a Christmas album anyway? I mean, I heard the album and there's no sleigh bells or white Christmas songs to be found. Yeah, you're right. That, that's not our thing, but it seemed only right since the angels sang the good news at the first Christmas that Guardian Angel could sing it this Christmas. It's like the angels. They played a real important part in the first Christmas. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. You mean like the story on the hillside with the shepherds? Yeah, that, but a lot more. Like an angel told Mary that she was going to have the baby, and another angel told Joseph that everything was going to be okay and to keep Mary as his wife. Wow. Hey, I didn't know that. And this next song mentions the angels and the role that they played in that very first Christmas. What is it called? It's called Precious Promise. It describes how God used angels to declare the good news and the promise that unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Wow, that's awesome. Let's do it. Again, ladies and gentlemen, guardian angel. Precious promise, oh what a gift of love! An angel tells a virgin that she's gonna have a son. And though it's a precious promise, she wonders how can this be? What will the people say? And what if Joseph can't believe? But her questions and her fears. Are met with an overwhelming joy that God has chosen her. Oh, what a precious promise! Mary waits as heaven comes to earth. Precious promise, oh what a gift of love. Joseph makes the choice to do what few men would have done, to take Mary as his bride, even though she's carrying a child that is not his own. Oh what a precious promise. Mary and the child will have a home And shepherds out on the hillside Their hearts racing with the news The angel told them A star's light fills up the dark sky As this night of precious promise is unfolding Oh what a precious promise Oh what a gift of love The waiting now is over and the time has finally come for the God who made this world to roll back the curtain and unveil his passion for the heart of man A precious promise lying in a manger in Bethlehem. Oh, what a precious promise lying in a manger in Bethlehem. Ah, 
awesome. Wow, that was an awesome song. We're going to take a break and we will be right back. All I'm going to say, Carol, is I sat there and I thought I heard an angel. A tear just came down my eyes. It reminded me of angels in the outfield when you sang, brother. Oh, it was beautiful. But Carol, we need makeup over here now. She's looking like Rudolph in a snowstorm. Oh, my goodness, these lights. Woo. All right. Um, Carol, while they're fixing you up, you just sit right there. Dr. Uh, Sense and Miss Murray, if I can get you guys to come on and get ready backstage here. Lovely ladies, I know you're doing your best. That's all you can do, okay? It's okay. All right, now, Carol, you still look beautiful. It's all right. Don't worry about that. It's the lights. It's the lights, okay. Um, the, the, the next guests you got coming up are, well, they're, they're quite what intriguing. Kind of show so, is this? Uh, just keep in mind, we're, we're working with some animals. Kill your people, okay? Uh, animals. Uh, Miss Golda? There's Ms. animals. Uh, well, How interesting. I understand that, but you're not oh. Mary Poppins. You're Miss Golda, okay? Now, listen. Come here. Like Miss Golda. Okay. We were running short on time, okay? okay. Hurry up. Okay. Now, stay right here, Miss Golda. Uh, and I'm get ready a second. Uh, JoJo. JoJo. I need to check their microphones. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm going to. I'm not owned. <laughs> Make I'm sure their owned. power's on and everything testing, else. Testing, 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 testing. Oh, Testing, testing. Is there testing. anything we can do about the voice? No, I can hear you, do we have auto tune or anything? Not at all. Check wait, with the sound engineer. We, we need auto tune for the voice. Oh my goodness. Oh ma'am, you look beautiful. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, you. Animals, animals. Watch animals. That's not an animal. That's a stagehand. Uh, I'm talking about them donkeys. Okay, over. that's okay. They're not gonna bite you. They've had the rabies shots. Now listen. When you come up here, she's going to introduce you. Just relax. Be careful. You're going to sit right there. We even got a little step stool for you because we know that you're kind of short. And then for you, Dr. Sense, you're going to sit over there. Come on you guys up. got any questions? Where's my book? You got the book? I've got the book. I've got the she's book. got the book. Okay. Hey, you guys. got the book. Okay. I've got, got the book. book. Hey, got band, book. I really need you to, you know, help on this one. This is going to be a rough segment. Okay. Go alive in five, four. <laughs> We are back. My next guests have written a very interesting book entitled The Gift We Bring, which has been on the bestseller, the bestseller list for about 10 weeks. Would you welcome Miss Golda Murray and Dr. Frank N. Sitz? Come on, have a seat. How are you guys today? Good. One. Do you need some help? We got it? We got it? We got it. Oh. You worry about yourself, Frank. Worry about yourself. <laughs> I got this. I'm a professional. <laughs> Just as long as they keep them animals away from oh, me. Golda. I love your hat. So how did, how, let me ask you a question, Golda. <laughs> you like how, my hat? how did you two get together? And where in the world did you get the idea for the book? Well... Frank and I studied together years ago, just prior to my going into counseling and him having to go into therapy. Uh, 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 not that he went into therapy himself. He, I mean, he went into under psychiatric care. Uh, and that helped him to have the inspiration for the book. No, no, what I mean to say is he's a doctor of psychiatry. Uh, he, he's, he's not, he's not an inpatient. That, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> we are very knowledgeable about this stuff. Well, thank you so much, Golda, for giving us these credentials for writing the book. So, Frank, can you tell us what the book is about? And tell me about the gift that we bring and who we bring it to. 
Well, Carol, before I answer that question, let me ask you, what do you think the book is about? Or, how do you feel when someone gives you a gift? Hmm. <coughs> Better yet, hmm. how hmm. do you feel when you give someone else a gift? Um. Doc, I may have to lay down for this one. I mean, this guy is already back to work. Seriously, Carol, this book, it's really about self-actualization. Specifically put, the sense of fulfillment that mankind can ever experience, you know, it's just to give ourselves away. Only then can we true the fi finally find the true meaning of life is when we find ourselves. We gotta find ourselves. Find yourself. Did you find yourself, honey? You found yourself this morning, didn't you? He's yeah. good. He's good. He's good. Quite frankly, Golda, my problem is not about finding myself. I see enough of me every day. No, I'm looking for something better in this life than just me. Golda. I see. Hum. Perhaps hum. a higher power within. Hmm. How do you feel about the power that is within you, Carol? No, Doc. Not some higher power. I mean, I'm talking about finding my place in the sun. S-O-N. Like, you know, the God that person, the, the person that God wants me to be. I mean, life is not about finding our true self. No. No, it's about finding God. That's why Christmas is so cool. They got to see God firsthand in the flesh. Are you talking about Mary's baby? Not just Mary's baby, God's son. God gave us Jesus, not so we could become all that we are, but so that we could become all that he wants us to be in him. Hold on. We have some young people with us today that are going to sing us a song, and it may help shed some light on all of this. Uh, everyone, please welcome the shepherd's flock. Coming on stage. All right, folks, we're getting ready to go live in five seconds. You animals look great, okay? I hope you've been fed. Have you been fed? Some of you look very hungry and scary at the same time. Okay, these are terrifying cows, but don't be worried about the people out here, okay? This is your time to shine, all right? Microphone's ready. JoJo, did you get the mics ready? Okay, mics are ready, okay. Everybody, we're getting ready to go live in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And action.
you, Ms. Golda Murray and Dr. Frankincense for being with us today. Everyone, stay tuned because you don't want to miss our last segment today. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, all right, we're going to set up for our last segment. You kids stay right there. You guys are looking perfect. You guys did incredible on the song. Didn't they, Carol? They did great. I didn't know animals could sing like that. Okay, you guys are doing fantabulous. Okay, so you just stay right there. All right, JoJo. JoJo. Oh, my gosh, it is so hard to find good help. I mean, I got one guy here that looks like he's getting ready to deliver pizzas. I got another one falling asleep. And where... Finally, you show up. Can you make sure the microphones are on? The animals need to be heard. Okay. Good gravy. All right. Everybody ready? Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. We're ready. So we're getting ready to go live in five, four, three, two. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Carol Medley Christmas Special. Sorry. Welcome back to the Carol Medley Christmas Special. We have so many guests, have so many guests on our show today, but no Christmas gathering is complete without telling the Christmas story. I've invited the Shepherd's Flock to share that amazing story with us today. Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. We are so excited to be here to share our Christmas stories with you. Now this is how the birth of Jesus came about. There was a census taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own city to register. So Joseph went up to Bethlehem, the city of David. He went there with his wife Mary, who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds out in the fields nearby, keeping watch with their flocks by night. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. Fear not, the angel said. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all. All people, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign unto you. You will find the baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of hosts appeared, saying, God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men.
my child. Remember the joy that came that night, the mother so meek and mild. Remember the world he came to save, the day that Jesus came. Remember the world he came to save, that never would be the same. Wow, who would have thought animals could sing that amazing? Give it up one more time for those guys. All right, we're getting ready. We got to do about a 20 second commercial. JoJo, you got all the microphones off. Come on, turn them off, turn them off. We got to get ready. We got about a 15 second commercial. I need you to get this mic down, down here, over here. Get in the middle. Quick, 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 quick. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to Carol. Kings of earth on a course unknown, bearing gifts from afar. Hoping, praying, following yonder star. Silhouette of a caravan, painted against the sky. Wise men searching for the holy child. One
Wow, what an amazing story that Shepherd's Flock has just shared with us today. It looks like our time is about up, and Shepherd's Flock, I want to thank you guys for being here with us today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we also want to thank my other guest, Miss Susan Wiseman. <laughs> and how about Guardian Angel? <laughs> an awesome job. And Miss Golda Murray and Dr. Frankincense. But most of all, we'd like to thank you for making this a Christmas, one that I will never forget. Uh, we just want to wish you a Merry Christmas, and at this time, we're going to ask uh, Pastor Milton to come up and uh, close out our, our service. Applause. Applause, applause. Was that great or what this morning? Hey. What a great job by everyone. I'm going to ask everyone who was in the program to join me on the, they didn't know this, so join me on the platform. All the kids, all the adults, join me on the platform. Play them up here, guys. Give me a little... they look great. I just want you to see them all one more time. These are your, uh, many of your children, your grandchildren, maybe great grandchild, maybe a friend. And uh, I just want to let you know, if you don't know, you don't normally get in here, all the way against the wall. Those are our kids pastors, Ron and Alma Boyd. So just a little taste of what your kids get to enjoy every Sunday here. I want to thank all of you guys and gals for what you did today on the program. Thank you for making this so special. And also, we've got a bunch of our young people running cameras in the back. Luke Tyler, Joel's back there who stepped up this uh, Christmas season and learned to do that. So we can we give our AV and uh, sound people a hand this morning as well. We couldn't do it without them. So thank you all. I'll let you walk back off. And, and one quick thing. Wonder. The animals can go back to their own parents' Par stables. Uh, animals, go back to your parents. Go back house. to your parents Yay, and clean up any parents. of the stable mess over there. There you go. Play them off, guys.
So, Paris, before you leave, if you'll give your costumes back, we'll put the animals away for another year. I'm going to ask uh, Christina Hall to come up here. Christina, you, she's working. But uh, she actually wrote and directed this program. Could you give her a hand this morning? <laughs> she stepped up and did a great job. And uh, this is just a little token of our appreciation, something you and Tim can enjoy and maybe go out to eat or something nice on us and buy something nice. But we appreciate it. Give her another hand this morning if you would. And today we want to just give you an opportunity, if you'd like to give in a very special offering today. We take one offering a week here at our church. We don't beg and beg for money. So we're not going to do that today because we never do that. But we are receiving a very special Christmas offering for missions. And we're going to take the funds we collect today, put it with some other funds that we already have, and we're going to send it around the world. Most of this money is going to be directed toward the nation of Africa, uh, the continent of Africa. But we're going to disperse it. And I want to tell you, some of the nations this uh, money is going to go to, uh, Benin, Gambia, Rwanda, Uganda, and Nepal. These are the nations we know that it's going to go to. Based on what we receive and what outside donations we get, uh, we're going to try to send money to an orphanage in Rwanda and also an orphanage in Uganda. And so we know these folks, we've worked with them, many of them have been here at our local church and spoken here before. And so we're going to ask you to give in a very special Christmas offering if you would like to. You can give giving uh, on the Tidely app. Many of you use that app here at Harvest Ministries. You can donate that way. If you're watching and like to send in a gift, 909 Blue Ridge Boulevard, Roanoke, Virginia, 24012. If you're here in person and want to give at the giving station, you can swipe a debit card or a credit card and give that way. You can use the envelopes of the seat backs in front of you to give cash or a check. Just make it out to Harvest Ministries and just write missions on it. Uh, in our church, we have a group we call Mission Possible, and they have uh, been doing missions work for many years now, and so we try to support them every year with our giving. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, there was giving uh, Tuesday, or Give Back Tuesday, I think it was, it was called, and uh, hundreds of millions of dollars given from organizations all over the world to help those who are in need. And so we're going to give today and pray that God blesses you. Something we do here that's very unique in our giving is we do an offering declaration because we believe when we speak positive scriptural things over our lives, God honors that and he honors our giving. And so I'm going to invite you to say this declaration with us this morning uh, as well. So I'm going to ask you to stand if you would. And before this slips my mind, I want to welcome and thank uh, my administrative bishop, uh, Bishop Joshua Lynn and his family for being here today. They travel all over the state of Virginia and visit churches, but their son was in our program today, so they were able to be here. And thank you all for being here this morning uh, as well. And all of you, if you don't have a home in church, listen, this is a great church to be a part of. We we'll love you pray for you, try to disciple you, try to help you live good on the earth and how to, try to help you make it to heaven and live there for eternity one day. That's what we really want to do. So today we're going to say our offering declaration and we're going to receive a blessing. And if you want to say it with us, say it out loud and say it like you mean it. As we give today's tithes and offering, we are believing for a supernatural release of God's favor over every area of our lives jobs and better jobs, checks in the mail, inheritances, secure investments, scholarships, creative ideas, healing for our body, soul, and spirit, deliverance to the captive, salvation to the lost, and an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Now say this like you mean it. We are blessed and we will be a blessing to others in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now receive the blessing today. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Before you leave, let me tell you this. There's some photo opportunities over here. We'll cut the lights on. Take photos anywhere in the building you'd like to with your family. And I'm going to say something I don't, don't say very often here. You're getting out of church before 12 o'clock today. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.